One of the basic skills that we need to learn in statistics is learning how to graph a numerical data set. Now for today we're going to learn how to graph or represent into a graphical display some univariate data set. Now univariate data sets by definition are numerical variable with single component. Now we're going to use a dot plot in representing ungrouped data set or ungrouped univariate data set to create a graphical display. Now dot plot by definition or graph of univariate data which displays a statistical chart using dots. Now in this example we have the list of numbers of siblings of each student in Mrs. Brown's class. So Mrs. Brown um, basically lists down all the number of siblings that her student has in this particular class. So this is the list of or the number of siblings in that particular class mentioned or uh, given by each of her students. So we have two siblings, one sibling, three, and so on. Now in constructing a dot plot, what you need to do is to look at the lowest and the highest number in your data sets. So in this on group data set, you will see that it doesn't really make sense to look at just a bunch of numbers in your list. In statistics, however, if we're going to represent this on group data set into a graph, we'll be able to tell the behavior of these numerical values and make sense on making a um, description about this values. So in this case, we need to have our horizontal line for our dot plot. So that's how basic this particular graph is. And just look at the lowest and the highest number in your um, data set and just create a number line, horizontal number line that will be used to uh, plot each of the points. Now, according to the definition, each of these numbers will be represented by dots and that's what we're going to use. So every time you see two, so two is right here, so we place a dot for two in this particular dot plot, then one, three, and then another three, and so on, until we finish plotting the last item in our ungrouped data. So this is basically the dot plot of the number of sib siblings in Mrs. Brown's class. So now you can compare that with a particular graphical display in statistics, our data set, which is ungrouped right here, will be a lot more um, describable as opposed to this particular group of numbers. Now let's have another example on how we can construct um, dot plot based on our now once again in constructing dot plots you need to remember that you need to label your axis and you need to put a title on your graph. And the second one you need to scale the axis based on the values of the variable and mark a dot above the number of the horizontal on the horizontal axis that you are using. Now in this example I'm going to use the number of goals scored by each team in the first round of California Southern Section Division 5 high school soccer playoffs. And here are their scores. So we have 5, 0, 1, 0, and so on. Just like what I mentioned a while ago, by just looking at these ungrouped data, we're not going to be able to tell so much about the behavior of these um, scores for this soccer playoffs. However, if we are going to construct a dot plot, it will give us a better judgment on how it behaves in this particular playoffs. So the first step that you need to do is to create your number line since here zero is our lowest number up until let's say number seven, but in this particular dot plot I used zero to eight, but it just shows that the range of the values of our data set will be uh, ranging from these numbers. So what we just need to do is to uh, mark each of those number in our horizontal axis. So if we are going to organize these numbers into plots, this is how it will look like. So it, these are the number of zeros in this soccer playoffs. Ones, twos, threes, fours, and so on. So now that we have uh, organized our ungrouped data into a dot plot, we can pretty much tell that in this particular playoff, there's a lot of no goals in this playoff and uh, that is how it is very important um, to use a graphical display in representing ungrouped data sets to be able to see the behavior of our numerical values. And that's how we construct um, a dot plot in uh, using univariate data set.